Okay, my favorite lures for flathead. Now in all honesty guys, when it comes to soft plastics in particular, flathead will pretty much eat anything. They're an opportunistic fish and if you get that soft plastic in front of his nose, the likelihood of him eating it is pretty high. However, some do work far better than others. And I've been chasing flathead for just about my whole life and I've seen lures come and go but they've pretty much remained very similar over the years. And I'm gonna go through really quickly my absolute favorites. I'm gonna start at this side. These are what we call jerk shads. Very, very simple. Anything in white does exceptionally well. This is a McCarthy bait. Uh, this is a four inch, or sorry, five inch jerk minnow, they call it. So realistically with these, they're just a, quite a straight lure with a fork tail at the end. They don't have a lot of action, but they do exceptionally well. Really easy to use, flick it out. A couple of flicks off the bottom, let it sink back down. A couple of flicks off the bottom work really, really well. If you're fishing really deep water and you're looking for a really big flathead or even fishing the flats, deep water, big jig head, nice big seven inch jerk shad. Don't be scared to go big when it comes to flathead. They absolutely love these things. So if you're fishing the shallows though, you could almost go to, um, uh, a very, very small jig head, nice big hook, and just work it in the shallows as well, you'll catch flathead. Next one along, and probably the most popular one when it comes to flathead, are paddle tails. Now, in the range of soft plastics that are out there today, there are so many, and they all work, but again, these are my favorite. Gulp's got a really nice one, it's just called a paddle shad. They work well, black and gold, proven color on flathead. Um, then you've got a Z-Man, the swimmers, again been around for a long time, lovely bait. Uh, another Z-Man there, your Diesel Minnow Z. Um, I've just grabbed any random colour. The white and gold works exceptionally well and uh, that's the same lure. And then we have a look at the McCarthy paddle tails. These are fairly new to the market, they're a hand poured lure and uh, we've actually done a a video on how to use these things and man oh man the four inch paddle tail catches so many flathead they're really really good so the paddle tails work exceptionally well you use them very similarly similar to the jerk shads although you can with these just do a straight retrieve get it on the bottom straight retrieve just get it bouncing along the bottom and that paddle tail will do the work for you flathead absolutely love them moving along anything with a curly tail this is quite a small one. This is only like a two and a half inch, but if you're starting out or you're land based, um, probably get a little bit more bycatch when using a smaller lure as well. But these Z-Man curl tails been around, curl tail grubs, been around for a long time. And man oh man, do they account for a lot of flathead. And don't be surprised if you get a really big flathead, because big flathead will eat small baits, but they'll, uh, big baits, but they'll also eat very small ones just like this. And then something a little bit different. I actually love these things and I, I actually use them for snapper as well. And it's called a jigging shrimp. And uh, these are made by Berkeley Gulp. Very unusual looking thing. So it's a shrimp with a curl tail basically. Uh, very, very effective on flathead. They stand out like you know what. And again, catch a lot of fish. Absolute lucky last, well not lucky last, but in the soft plastics it's the last lot. The good old fish trap. Man, they are hard to beat. Two ways of fishing these things. You can cast them out from shore on a sandy bank, vibe it, hit the bottom, vibe it. They attract fish from a long way away because of that vibration hitting their lateral line. But you can also use, if you're in the boat, you're drifting along, you just drop this to the bottom. And as you're drifting, you're just vibing it off the bottom. Super effective and some massive, massive flatter that have been caught on these fish traps. They pretty much catch everything. And if you are fishing deep water with these, don't be surprised you've hooked a nice big dewy as well because they do catch them regularly. Then this one here, pretty new, Flathead X. Really nice lure. This one's pretty light. It's only a small guy, but pretty light, but they're really, really good to sort of work over weed beds. The hook protrudes quite high out of the top of it. So if you've come to an area where you've got weed and sand and weed and sand, you flick them into those little sandy holes and then work them over the top of the weed, Excellent action and you can retrieve these super slow, like real slow, and that tail still does the work. I really like these. Now hard body lures. Goodness me, there's one I haven't got here, but I will go and grab it in a second and show you because it's going to blow your mind. It's a massive lure, but these guys here work really well. This is a duo jerkbait. 
Now this guy's the deeper of uh, the two. There is a, a shallower one to this, which I use all the time. But this guy here, he will dive down between sort of 0.6 to about 1.8 meters. So again, you can use this on an edge of a drop off. And the more you twitch, the, the shallower it will be, the more you wind it down, the deeper it will go. But a couple of twitches, let it pause and slowly float up and you watch those slatted smack these things. They absolutely love them. Now in real shallow water, Rapala have got a pretty cool lure that is quite effective. These are called, just make the name right, a ripstop, Rapala ripstop. So you can rip these things, rip, 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 and pause, and they just sit there like that. Or you can twitch, 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 again, really good action, and then let them pause, and that flat edge, they smash them on the pause. But these are a very, very shallow lure, so excellent on the flats. Now I've got one more lure, it's downstairs. I'm just gonna go grab it. Okay, so these are that popular. We've actually run out of stock here in the tackle store. So I went and got my own tackle box, grab one out. <laughs> Look at the size of that. You might think I'm absolutely nuts, but these things work so well on monster flatted in the shallows. It's called a Zeric Affinity. And the white color, a couple of ones strung together there, the white color in particular is very, very popular with flathead fishers. Uh, mind you, every color will work. But if you can imagine a monster flathead, 80, 90 centimeters, that is a mullet, absolutely would love to smash it. So if you've got the guts, <laughs> grab your bait caster and go chuck these up in the shallows. That's one way to target really, really big flathead. I'm gonna throw one more lure at you before we finish. And it's this guy here. Yeah, it's a, it's made by a guy called Bone. And the brand is called Bone, and it's called a Fang. No, it's not. It's, yeah, no, what's it called? Have a look at that. Read that. Fugus? Fugus? Say it on that as well. Focus. All right, got it. So I'm gonna to go to another one. I couldn't read what it was called, but now I can. These are made by a guy called Bone. The brand's called Bone. And I mean, great cod lure, yellow belly, all sorts of different things. But on flatties, these are really, really cool. And it's got a bone focus. Um, they've got different toe points at the top there. So you can almost kind of vibe them straight up and down. But for flatties, I just use the front toe point there. And there is another color coming out in white, which is gonna be absolutely amazing. I know guys that have actually got spray paint and painted these white, and they do account for a lot of flattered as well. So I know that's a lot to take in. There's a lot of lures here. Do you really need to go out and buy all these lures to catch flattered? No, you do not. Absolutely, you do not. So I'm gonna tell you two lures that you should go and buy if you wanna chase flattered, just two. The first one is the fish trap. Just try it, you'll catch them, trust me. Keep it low to the bottom, little vibes as you're retrieving back. And the other one would be any of these paddle tails, whether it's a, a Z-Man Swimmers, I mean, I'm right into these at the moment, the McCarthy paddle tails. So a four inch paddle tail, very, very hard to beat. So even if you just started off with just these two, I promise you, put in the work, Keep the lure close to the bottom, move it slowly, nice sandy spot on a run-in tide, you will catch yourself a flathead. I hope showing all these lures has given you some insight if you're just starting out on, uh, on what to pick, because it is quite daunting when you go into your tackle store.